girl Yan Bon and today I am coming to you with something different something that I've never ever done before we are gonna have a ask Yanni Q&A well not really like a Q&A more like an advice video um, I asked you guys to send me snaps of questions that you had something that you need advice on and I'm gonna go through these snaps now and I'm gonna give you advice on a what Ayani would do in your situation so let's just jump right into it if you guys are wondering why I'm so beat right now it's because I was trying to film a makeup tutorial for you guys but what was happening was the camera and my lighting wasn't picking up the colors that I actually have on my face but you guys can always check out my pictures on Instagram. Go to Yanbon underscore and you'll you can see like the actual makeup that I actually have on. This person needs advice on being insecure and being dark skinned. Um, how do I start to love my skin complexion? Your complete confidence will start with how you feel about yourself. So if you're not comfortable with yourself, if you're not comfortable literally in your own skin, you're not gonna show that confidence in anything else that you do so be confident in yourself know that you were given this dark skin for a reason know that this dark skin complements you it complements the person who you are i say appreciate that dark skin because you are beautiful so i'm about to be 21 in may which means free range to meet men at bars and club-ish. I'm kind of looking for a relationship and having and have given online dating, Tinder, Bumble. I don't even know what Bumble is. Tinder and Bubble, Bumble. <laughs> Tinder and Bumble a try, but I'm wondering if I should let that go and just wait till I can go out and actually meet someone face to face. What do you think? This would actually be a really good question for my friend. Tima! Guys, this is Fatima. You guys What's have up? seen Fatima a couple of times. Uh -oh, so we on? have a person. They have a question. Uh -oh. So they're about to be 21 and they're looking for a relationship and stuff wow, like this. I have lipstick on. <laughs> they're looking for like a relationship and stuff like this so they said that they've given online dating a try oh, God. <laughs> and they've used tinder and bumble have you ever heard of bumble no, heard of yeah we've never heard of bumble uh -huh. but they've used tinder and bumble uh -huh. and um they they want to know if they should you know wait to meet someone face to face or should they continue giving tinder a try um, i've never used these things so um, i wouldn't be the best one to ask <laughs> Unless if you're like going out places to like, you know, parties and the bar and stuff like, or if you like, you know, are in the public space in school or something like, it's a harder chance for you to like, you know, meet somebody mm -hmm. okay, face to face. Yeah. But um, at least if you're on Tinder, like, it'll be people that's like, around people you. That's yeah. around you. So it's easier to like link up or anything like that. Like, um, you know. So I would I I yeah I you could do both Tinder. Yeah, you could do both. I think that you should s stay on Tinder, you know, but don't let Tinder be your only thing. Don't let Tinder stop you from making those personal relationships in person. So try to be as social as you can. So I see that you said you want to start going to the bars and clubs. I don't know if bars and clubs is the best place to meet a guy, but hey, you never know. But, <laughs> but definitely use Tinder yeah, to see Tinder. who's around you in your area, mm -hmm. but also try to be more social, hang out more with your friends and go different places to see if yeah to see if you'll meet someone there yeah like you can meet someone anywhere you can meet somebody in a supermarket you can you can meet somebody like at school you can meet some, if you go to college i'm not sure if you do you could possibly meet someone you know at a program that you guys are having at school or an event mm -hmm. at school and try and take like more initiative yourself like be the first person to say something like listen don't be afraid listen yanni <laughs> Yanni is not a, not afraid to talk to people. Like you have to be you have to be social. Like mm -hmm. if you think somebody is cute, like just be like, oh, just have a nice conversation. Like, yeah, like wow, it could be the most me, huh? random like, conversation. <laughs> Boys are so easy. Mm -hmm. Like 
<laughs> girls make it complicated guys are easy to get exactly so <laughs> so i think that was good advice yeah yeah. Hi. <laughs> Hi Yanni, I love your videos. I'm in my third year in college. I'm extremely shy and get really bad anxiety when it comes to presentation in front of people. If you experience this problem, how do you overcome this fear and what tips you have for people with speaking pu with public speaking anxiety? It may seem like I'm the most confident person in the world, like I can talk for days to people but that's not the case when i used to do presentations i got a little makeup on my collar when i used to do presentations at school i used to get really nervous like my voice used to start shaking like i used to start sweating like i never used to want to go up i never wanted to go first i never wanted to go last i wanted to be in the middle you know that type of thing and i used to get really nervous like presentations just weren't good because you can hear my voice shaking when i was talking I would say the best thing that happened to me was taking a leadership role at school. So in my college, I'm the president of one of our national honor societies that we have here. And because of that, I have to take initiative to talk a lot. Um, I talk in front of large groups. And I feel like that's something that really helped me like talk more, helped me get motivated to do public speaking. I feel like when you don't have authority over the situation, like when you're the student being graded or when people are looking at you like and you're being judged, you feel more tense. Uh, you start getting nervous. Once I joined the society and I, become, I became an e-board member, it made me feel more of like the leader so people weren't looking at me to judge me people were looking at me to listen to me to learn from me and having that authority and having that hierarchy in my public speaking made me more confident so if you take more leadership roles in your school community i feel like that may help um, it will get you to start speaking more often and it will get you more comfortable with your speaking So definitely try to take on some leadership positions on your school campus And I feel like that's something that will definitely help you with your presentation skills. Do you ever go through depression? If so, how do you get back to your old self? guys This question is so relevant this happens to me all the time. I go in and out and I get really sad I never want to do anything I never want to go out the house. I never want to hang out. I just want to stay in bed all day and just watch TV and just scroll on social media and just be sad. Like, I just want to be sad all day. <laughs> to overcome that, the best thing you could do is to just get up and go out. Do what makes you feel good. So for me, putting on makeup and getting cute makes me feel much better um because then i put on my makeup and then i start you know snapping away and talking and feeling confident and then people hit me up and they're like hey da -da. and you know it just it just brings in conversation so that that makes me happy um getting out the house like if you can just just go um call one of your friends instead of being sad and isolating yourself Call one of your friends up and just say, you know, you want to go out somewhere. If you have like someone that you're really close to, someone that you talk to often about like, you know, a best friend that you could talk to and tell anything or a boyfriend, anything like that, I would definitely say talk to them through it. Like tell them exactly how you're feeling. And I feel like talking about it really helps. And if you ever feel like it's just too much for you, I would definitely seek professional help for it. You know, I'm not a doctor, I'm not a psychiatrist, so I could just give you what I think you should do. But sometimes it's more serious than just talking it out with a friend or going outside. Sometimes it's more than that. And, some, and in times like that, that's when you need to go seek professional help for it. What would you do if a boy keeps staring at you and smirking? at you but he's clearly too shy to come speak to you first and so am i <laughs> if a boy keeps staring at you and smirking at you obviously he got a little thing for you and honestly if you feeling him too a little bit you need to make that move unless y'all both just gonna be sitting there but i would definitely say make the first move it doesn't have to be like on some i like you type stuff it could be like on some like like what i said earlier like oh you have a ni nice shirt 
with stuff like this sometimes a person may be shy to say something to you in person but if you talk to them on social media they'll be more open to talk if that's the case if you have the person on like facebook or instagram um or snapchat even i would say like hit them up but not on some like weirdo shit though not on some weird shit like on some on some like you saw them doing something on snapchat and you hit them up because you thought it was funny or you thought it was cool or whatever and then you literally just send them like laughing emojis like y'all could be surprised that that would be a conversation starter ride the social media away for a little bit and then make sure y'all eventually say something to each other in person because by then if y'all talk on social media for like a week you should be good enough to say something to him in person by the end of that week how do you stay focused with school and work and having a social life okay school always comes first so make sure that whatever you have to do with school you're getting it done as soon as possible and then is work because work is how you make your money your social life is last the best way to stay focused is to plan out what you want to do for the week usually you guys see me do this on snapchat a lot as well i put down all the days literally like on a regular sheet of paper and i'll put monday tuesday wednesday thursday and i'll write down what i want to do each day and what i want to accomplish each day and i just keep it with me all the time almost like a planner but you don't get the anxiety of having to go through a whole bunch of days if you have the type of job where you can do other other things than work at your job definitely take advantage of that i work in an office setting and not all the time am i doing office work or doing something for my job some of the time i have time to like work on a paper um work on different assignments that i have for school so definitely use that as well the most important thing about social life is that you will always have time for a social life there's no deadline on a social life there's deadlines on your schoolwork and social life will always be there you know everybody wants to go to every single party there is at school and honestly it's unnecessary there will always be another party at school i need advice about this guy is having she's been talking to him they've been talking to him about a month and he messaged me on Instagram and we started talking from there. He lives 15 minutes away from me. I often feel as if he is not interested in me because, because he never tries to show me. He never FaceTimes. Or, I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> he never FaceTimes or calls me except for once. I still have not met him yet because he doesn't have a car. So I would have to drive to go see him in my car recently he stopped talking to me because he said he's not in the mood to talk but i feel sad because i've been so nice and supportive i'm also positive with him and he treats me this way what is your advice don't let no man treat you bad don't let no man make you sad don't let no man make you feel less important than you think you are 15 minutes and he's never seen you come on you know that don't make no sense so i would say leave that alone because he's obviously not trying to make the effort only talk to him on the phone facetime once no it sounds like he doesn't feel the same way it sounds like he's not as interested um, for whatever reason. Don't push something that it's not inviting you in. Don't stress yourself out. You should never stress yourself out over any guy. If a guy wants you, he's going to show you that he wants you. And he's going to treat you like he wants you. It's only been a month. So I would do this now before your feelings get too deep. And I would suggest you suggest leave it alone so thanks for sitting with me besties on this advice video remember to like comment share and subscribe and also remember to subscribe to my website yanbond.com there's gonna be a lot going on on there i'll see you guys next time bye